Very zoom out just a tiny bit. Thank you. Thank you. So I've been after a new book for a while now. I've been watching Daniel Simmons' YouTube videos and he always has the most beautiful books where he gathers a lot of like inspiration from them, especially like interior, even like fashion style and just like photography ideas. And I never think to look through books. I just kind of go on like social media and stuff, which is obviously a great source of inspiration. But after watching Daniel and seeing some of you know, the pages in the books that he has and how stunning they are. I just thought, you know what? I, I really want to find a nice book that inspires me like they do inspire Daniel. So I've been after one for a while and as you've really seen in my previous vlog, I went to Brighton and I went into my favorite shop in Brighton, which is called Workshop. They have so many beautiful like homeware pieces and also they do clothing as well. It's honestly so hard not to buy pretty much everything in that store. I just, I wish I could buy every mug or plate or dish that they sell. I wanna walk away with it all and take it home with me, but I really, really can't because I really don't need to. I have so many ceramics already that I don't need to add to the collection. But this caught my eye, I had a flick through and I was like, oh, this is really, this is basically what I would love my future home to, kind of feel and look like. Like I look at these images and I just feel very, it's so odd isn't it, but I just feel very peaceful and they inspire me, which is obviously what I wanted. Um, and Eli then kind of peeked over my shoulder and he was like, oh, that's a really nice book. And it is, it's a lovely book and saw the price and it was 55 pounds, which I think is quite good for this size book but also like the content, like the photography in it, it's like a really lovely quality. So yeah, we decided to purchase it because I think it's gonna be very, very useful in the future. And Eli did mention, you know, that he'll be referring back to the book quite a lot when it comes to our house eventually, when we get around to it. But um, you'd buy one first, but there we go. But yeah, I bought this and I just think it's really lovely. It's quite big. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I don't know whether I want it on the coffee table or whether I want to kind of store it somewhere a bit more where it won't kind of like get like wear and tear and stuff. It does make me though wanna just sell or get rid of everything in my home and then just buy from scratch, which I cannot do. <laughs> but I really just want to have like a whole makeover of my home, but um, I'll get there one day, you know. 
I'll have my dream home. But it is a Monday lunch time. Yes, it's five past 12. I need to have some lunch. I've got to crack on with so much admin stuff today. It's a proper just admin day with editing, applying to emails, buying stuff. I've got like phone the vets for Lena and all that jazz. Um, the list is quite long. I'm looking at my diary over on the table and I'm just like, oh, I don't want to do it. But um, I'm procrastinating, as you can tell. So I need to crack on with that, but it's quite a sunny day. It's on and off rain in London, which is so infuriating, but it's still really hot. Like all I want to do is put on a jumper, but I can't because I just start sweating. And this flat, because it's got so many windows, it just, it feels like a greenhouse sometimes. And it just gets so like unbearably stuffy. So yeah, I mean, autumn's on its way though, for sure. Like it's not long to wait. So I watched, um, was it Zoe Sarkis or was it Alfie's? I can't remember. But anyway, so I watched their YouTube videos yesterday in the evening and they mentioned flapjacks and I haven't had a flapjack in so long and I love a good flapjack, like a proper gooey sweet flapjack. No nonsense, I don't want raisins in it, I don't want blueberries in it, I just want a solid old classic plain flapjack. Um, and I was going to make some banana bread because we've got some like brown monkey bananas. I was like, oh, okay, let's make banana bread. And I was like, you know what? I'm not craving a banana bread. And I then saw the golden syrup up in the cupboard and I thought, have I got enough ingredients to make some flapjacks? And I think I do. So I'm going to make some flapjacks and I'm very, very excited. Eli's not the biggest fan of flapjacks, he thinks that they're a bit boring, um, but you know what, doesn't matter, I'm going to do it for me. 